Hey, 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 hey. Happy Friday. Hello, Ron Z. Hello. Hey, Miss Miko. Hey. Thank you. Hey, Joy. Hey, how you guys doing? Thanks for the hearts. Hey, Abdul. Hello, Anna. Anastasia. Yes. Hi, Kala or Kayla. Hi. Coca. Coca Kev. <laughs> Terry. Hi. How you guys doing? Hey, hey, Terry. Hey, thanks for the hearts. Happy Friday. How you doing, Miss Miko? So glad you're here with me today. Gonna play a little bit on camera, trying to honor what you guys are looking for. Hey, Penny. So I, I'm really curious because I've been trying to think about how often will I scope? What will I do on the scopes? Uh, you know, am I gonna come in and just do art every time? Hey, hey, Penny, how you doing? Anybody here for the first time? If you're here for the first time, let me just put number one so I'll know that you're here for the first time. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am TR. I'm a mixed media artist uh, and instructor. Hey, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Is it Coca? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, Brandon. All right, we got a lot of first timers. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Miko, is that you, Miko? Talk about just your first time. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, Rochelle. Hello. Hello, Mar Margra. Margra. I'm going to assume that's probably Margaret. Anyway, I am TR. I'm a mixed media artist and instructor as well as a creativity coach. Basically, that means I infuse happiness, creativity, and confidence into your art, business, and life. And of course, most of you know here, oh, Canton. Are you in Canton, Georgia? Where are you guys from? I'd love to know that. Do you have any more Georgia people in the house? Tell me where you guys are from. Welcome, welcome. Yes. Oh, well, awesome. You're pretty close to me. That's awesome. Roswell, oh my God. Look at all the Georgia people. I'm in Georgia. Uh, I am in the Atlanta area. Yes, tap the screen to say hello. Of course, you guys know tapping, sending up the heart, sending a little bit of love lets me know that you're here, lets me know that you're enjoying the scope, lets me know that you want me to come back, lets me know that you're enjoying my art when I start sharing my art. It just sends up love. It ups my ranking and it just makes me feel good and it doesn't it make you feel good to share some love too oh yes 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 hello 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 missouri in the house okay let's see that art yes okay so i don't have any art around me i do have a little bit but today i am going to make a tag live with you guys i try to keep these scopes kind of short i think that they need to be short yeah love I love it I love it so I'm thinking that I will scope right now I've been doing on on Wednesdays and Fridays I thought Monday Wednesday and Friday but I'm thinking it'll be Sunday because Monday is my pajama day and I really just try to keep it real on Monday and I'm gonna be in my pajamas but y'all know I'm not scared to get on camera with my pajamas because I do it on Wednesday nights but right now I'm thinking Wednesdays Fridays and Sundays around four o'clock. Does that work for you guys? Send up some hearts and say, does that work for you guys? And we'll do an art project. I'll give you some creative, uh, a challenge or something every week and we'll just have a lot of fun with it, okay? All right, well anyway, today I'm doing a tag live online here with you today using my acrylics and I'm gonna use these three colors. I'm using my Americana. I've got saffron yellow, jack-o'-lantern, and cherry red, so I'm gonna use those three colors, and baby wipes. Literally, I'm gonna pr pretty much use baby wipes as much as possible. I'm not using any paint brushes or anything like that. I'm gonna use baby wipes, and I'm going to use maybe some markers and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a pretty tag, it's gonna be great. Hey, Ice44 with your fine self. Let me tell y'all a quick story. So my husband is home from work today, and I asked him to come if he was going to come to my scope and send me up some hearts. I don't see your hearts, Ice44. Anyway, he told me to pretend like he was at work, which means he can't get on the scope. What? <laughs> 
love them. That is my love. All right, Ice 44. I see. <laughs> yeah, that's the best. Anyway, all right. <laughs> Anyway, he gives me love in so many ways. So I excuse him, but I do see his red hearts. Isn't that fitting popping up for me? Hello, Marmar. Mar. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm going to switch the angle of my camera and hope that you guys can see my workspace bit, a bit better. So that we can get started with this tag. All right, so I have a little plate here. I use plates as my palette. If I'm not going to be mixing up it, uh, too many liquids or anything, I use plates as my palette. All right, so I'm going to put the colors on my plate. And for those of you who are here for the first time, if somebody would be so kind to type my blog address into uh, the chat, and it is trsmith.com. It's T I A R E. S M I T H dot com. Thank you, Ms. Miko. Uh, please type that in for me again. It's T I A R E S M I T H dot com. Come on over, come to the blog. I give out tips, ideas, all kinds of information. I do workshops, all kinds of things. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for typing that in for me. All right, so the camera's a little bit far from me, so I can't see your names. As you, Even when it's close, I can't see those little gray names, but I can see what you're writing. All right, so here we go. I know that he loves seeing me create because it inspires him to make art. <laughs> right anyway all right so i do love seeing the hearts the hearts get me pumped and ready to go all right so we're gonna go with making the background with a baby wipe literally a baby wipe so you're gonna dip your baby wipe in your first color and i'm picking the yellow and you're just gonna wipe it on literally i am just gonna wipe it on because i'm gonna cover most of the background with the color Yes, can you guys tell me? I mean, some of you I see on lots of scopes all over the place. Do you guys just go around watching scopes and you don't make time to do your own art? <laughs> I know there are a bunch of you that do that. <laughs> all right, so I'm adding color to the background. This is going to be really quick. Yep, well, make time to art. I'm giving you some cute, quick tips. Make time to art. Okay, so you're just taking your baby wipe and you are making a beautiful background. All right, and you can make dark or light. Now I'm going to start tapping. And the tapping is just giving me some darker spots and a textured look. Adding some more yellow. And of course, because the baby wipe is wet, it starts to blend the colors as well, which is really, really awesome. And this is going to come together pretty quickly because I'm almost done with what I want this background to look like. And I'm going to tap on just or rub on just a little bit of red here and there because you guys know I love flowers. So there will be flowers in here. pretty all right hearts 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 this is the background all right so it's just three colors background background all right so now I'm gonna make what will be my flowers and I'm still using the same baby wipe isn't the baby wipe beautiful <laughs> so you know that you could dry when this dries you can actually bunch it up and maybe we'll do that today and make it a flower as well but right now I am going to make flowers by tapping and I'm just gonna tap three random 
blobs of paint. Literally three random blobs of paint. Okay, now I am going to dry because I do need to dry because I need to write on top of this. For those of you, thank you, for those of you that don't know this, when you are working with acrylics, you do need to dry, and I'm not going to quite dry them as much as I should, but when you're working with acrylics, you do need to allow them to dry before you start writing on top of them with your marker. The acrylic, wet acrylic paint will indeed dry out your markers. So, you know, if you could just sit your artwork aside, then that's even better. But to be honest with you, because you're not supposed to, for the longevity of acrylics, you really shouldn't heat dry it. You should really let it air dry. But I don't know about you, but I'm not patient enough for that. <laughs> All right. So there are my three blobs. All right. So now I'm going to get my pen and I'll use pit pens and all kinds of stuff. I use this precise pen. I use pit, uh, the Faber Castells. I use the Uniball. Those are my go-to. And today I've got um, my Faber Pastel, my Faber Castell pastel pencils in black and white. Okay. So I'm gonna just take these, this marker, and I'm gonna draw the shape of the flower. Again, you guys have seen me done this before. The shape of the flower is whatever you see. And sometimes you don't see much of a shape and you can make it up yourself. Okay? And then I also add stems. And my stems are always just three wonky lines. This one is really cute. And I'm going to show you what they look like. And typically, I try to have um, four, three petals. And sometimes, based on what I see, there aren't four petals. Sometimes there are only two. So I'm going to show you what these look like as soon as I draw my petals on. I mean, my stems. Can I get some hearts? If you're loving this so far, can I get some hearts? Tap, 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 tap. To send up hearts, all you have to do is tap the screen. I want to see lots of heart colors so that I know that you guys are here and that you are enjoying this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a center. You guys have seen me do this before. This is one of my absolute fastest, quickest, most beautiful uh, fun ways for me to make flowers. I love it. It's just awesome, awesome, awesomeness. Okay. And then I take my white marker. So cute. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. They're like poppies. And I'm going to, I do do other flowers other than poppies. Poppies are surely a go-to, but I will do uh, flowers other than poppies as well. And if you're on my blog, you've seen me do the uh, other shapes with um, this same technique. So now I like to add a little detail at the corners to define some of the, the uh, petals or parts of the flower. And I will show you that. All right, now I'm also going to add light. I love to add just a little bit of white to show where the light might be hitting the petals. This is really pretty. <laughs> 
I'm sorry. I know it's my art, but I am enjoying it. Love it, love it, love it. Send up tons and tons of hearts. I need those hearts. They keep me going. All right, so this time I'm going to scribble. I'm going to add some flourishes, some swirly do's. And I don't always do that. I like to scribble. Um, I am also going to add some shading this time. So just if you have your pastel pencils, you would just take it around the edges and add some darkness. Make sure flowers pop right off the page. Again, if you are here and this is your first time, I love for you to follow me by tapping the little guy down in your right hand corner and following me. Um, of course, please share this with your other crafty friends. Please visit my blog at trsmith.com. That's T I A R E S M I T H dot com. I'm always there sharing stuff, lots of creative stuff, uh, with you. Um, Whatever I create, I, I usually pull seven prompts um, and I create based on those prompts. So there will be all kinds of creative stuff on the blog. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Miss Rochelle. All right, I'm going to show you what this looks like and we're going to wrap this up in just a second. I'm just adding some, I like to sometimes just get some shade, shading down at the bottom just because it's what I want to do. So here's what it looks like now. Welcome. Hey, Penny. Thank you for inviting followers. Hello. Hello, KB's Creations. This is what I've got so far. Hello, Penny. Thank you for sharing on Twitter, please. I love, I love, hi there. Hello. Hey Miko again. <laughs> I know the, the, the I noticed that uh, Periscope goes on and out, in and out all the time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you for inviting followers. Please send up some hearts if you love the art. Please, please, please. Thank you so much. I'm gonna do one last thing and then I'm gonna be done. For real, for real. <laughs> for real, for real. I'm gonna ink the edges. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, please send up hearts. Let me know that you love it. I'm inking the edges now. And a lot of people, I watch people ink. Some people ink like this. I ink from the top like this because I can see where the ink is going. You can see it hit the edge. You can see it touch the paper if you want it to touch the paper. So ink so you can see where your ink is going. Don't scrape. Ink from the top. So how about that? A tag, no brushes, just acrylics. And thank you, thank you. You're welcome. There we go. Here's my beautiful tag. I will add some um, ribbons to the top. I hope I'm not yelling. I probably am, but anyway. <laughs> um, if you are here for the first time, I did gesso. I gessoed first, and then I did acrylics with a baby wipe. Thank you so much for that. Amazing. I love that. Thank you so much. Um, I gessoed first and then um, I used acrylics. I adore poppies. I know. Me too. First time. Oh, thank you. Welcome. You guys, make sure that you tap the little guy down in the right hand corner and be sure to follow me because I'm going to be coming to you two, three times, at least two times. Three times. I'm going for three times. I've been coming twice a week, but now I'm going to try to up it to three times a week to come and share some fun art with you here on Periscope. So anyway, 
I gesso first, then I use baby wipes to add acrylics to the background. I use baby wipes to make the flowers. And then I came in with pit pins and markers to add details to the poppies. So that's what they look like close up. Aren't they gorgeous? Love, love, love. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I loved making this. This was so much fun. If you guys enjoyed this, I always tell you about what's going on on my uh my blog, my website, I am doing a workshop right now. It starts on Monday called Splatter, Splotch, and Splash. And I will be teaching all kinds of wonderful techniques for making what I call this. I call it splotch art. I'll be using acrylics, uh, Karen Dayosh crayon, Karen Dosh crayon, um, and ink tints. And we'll be making flowers, things with wings, people, all kinds of awesome, awesome, awesome things. there so you guys can snap a picture if you want <laughs> neo colors yes so i'd love for you to come and join the workshop right now i do have a bonus uh registration closes on sunday it's an amazing price and you get two free classes at no additional charge we'll be making a handmade journal and we'll be making a canvas bag all right, so follow me, share with your friends. If you have to watch this in replay, remember by tapping the screen, you can still send up some love. So let's go. I'm about to sign out. So I love to have that heart parade, the heart attack at the end. Show me some hearts if you love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think she would be fine. Yep, I've had kids as young as eight. Um, I am very detailed with my instructions. I'm there to help. Um, so absolutely. Um, I love when kids come. I've taught a, a 13 year old parties. I do all kinds of stuff. Um, so people do bring people to their children to like my periscopes and things like that. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Just like I taught it here. I get, Hey, I'm not sure who that is because I can't see your name. <laughs> So, but hello, hello. So type your name inside the box so that I can see who you are. That way I'll know because I tell you the little, the little gray right there. I can't even see that business. All right. So I'm going to hold it a little bit closer. Hey, hey, Danielle. Yes, yes, yes. I do sometimes do on-site classes. I do know Miss Kyla. That's my, that's my buddy. Yes. <laughs> hey, Ice. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. Hi. Okay. So, you guys can find me on my blog. You can absolutely positively send me messages if you have questions. I'd love, again, for you to come and join my workshop, which starts on Monday, Splatter, Splotch, and Splash. I'll be showing all kinds of techniques that are splotch art, butterflies, dragonflies, things with wing, people, flowers. Again, bonus is going to be a bag and a handmade uh, album. Those are bonuses. You don't pay extra for them. Those are going to be thrown in there for free. Thank you so much. So, okay, I asked for the heart attacks because I was going to sign out. I had a whole bunch of people come in. Again, I'm going to say one more time, follow me by following that little guy, uh, tapping the little guy and following me. Please, if you have to watch this in replay, send me up some hearts. You can send up hearts by tapping the screen in replay as well. Tell your friends, invite your friends. And last but not least, all right, one more time, everybody. I see 33 people on the scope right now. Tap that screen like mad. Let me see all kinds of colors in those hearts if you enjoyed today and if you want me to come back with more lessons. I need to see those hearts so that I can come back more often with more lessons and share some beautiful art with you. Tap, 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 tap like mad, like your life depended on it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Happy Friday. Hey, Melody. <laughs> you guys have an amazing weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you. Muchas, smooches. I love all of my artsy, crafty friends. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining me. Have an amazing, amazing weekend. All right. See you next time. Bye.